Hello everybody, welcome back. Ben the Pat Tester here. Welcome to my channel, Caterham Pat Testing. Great to have you here. Hope you're getting some good information from my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment as well. Been a couple of people commenting in the last few days, just asking about particular videos that they'd like done. Uh, one on extension reels and RCD. So I'll get round to that in the next few days. I'll make a video for you. And, um, chat about that but today i'm just going to be talking about phone chargers um there's so many out there how do you spot a good one how do you spot a bad one a dangerous one fake ones how do you pat test them it, it can be confusing so hopefully this video will help if there's any pat testers or just you know general members of the public alike who are unsure about whether they've got a good phone charger or not um hope this video will help so um, quite a few out there on the market, as you will know. So I've got a few here. So Apple chargers. So this is kind of a bog standard uh, Apple one, as you would probably have seen. This is a bit more of a high powered one that you uh, might have got with iPads or such like. Um, and then these are the newer ones here. Uh, this was a USB-C charger. Uh, as well so that's kind of a bit of a higher power one um, i've heard recently that apple are not putting chargers in with their new phones anymore i'm not sure if that's true or not um, which kind of makes this video even a bit more important because then you'll need to either use an older charger or go out and purchase a new one um, so i'll just try and help you and show you kind of where to look out for um, this charger here uh, this is a yeah samsung charger you they're all usb chargers in certain degree um that one's got the markings on it and a samsung they're all pretty standard um and then this is just kind of a generic one that i've got here that i bought um which is the anchor brand i'll talk more about them in a minute um biggest thing i get asked is how do you spot a fake or dangerous phone charger and it is tricky uh the ones that i come across the most are these um, so this was a, an Apple designed charger and as you can see just on there you can see the Apple logo there and then underneath it says um, designed in California or something like that and it's got a little safety mark under there as well. Um, what I would say if if you come across any of these chargers here that are not Apple branded then it, it's my opinion that just don't use them. And that was because you know this is an Apple design product. And I know for a fact that you go to the local phone stores or you go on Amazon or eBay or wherever, and there's hundreds of thousands of these being sold, non-Apple branded. Um, and to me, they shouldn't be sold. That's just my opinion. You know, they're copying the design. You come across these, you know, these ones are quite a chunky, you know, you can they're a good weight. But you come across the cheaper ones um, and they're half the weight, if that. Um, I did see a program, I can't remember what it was, one of these consumer programs on the TV where they tested some of these chargers and they were quite dangerous. I think it was a, a witch study or something like that or a BBC consumer show that had a, a, a study that they did. Um, so I would always say to you, if you're buying an Apple, if you're buying a charger for an Apple product, is just swallow the cost and buy a genuine Apple charger. They're designed for the products, so you, it, you know common sense would say just buy the the branded charger to go with it. I know they're expensive. Um, you know that's the conversation for for another day. But um, you know I've had these chargers for years and years and years. They're reliable. They work. No problems at all. The newer ones are pretty cool, and they they fold in like that, which are, which are pretty good. Okay, um, so th that would be that. The Samsung chargers again. I haven't come across any counterfeit ones. There are kind of ones looking like them, etc. But again, if you've got a Samsung product, I would always stick to a Samsung charger, and then that way you know that they've been uh, manufactured with the right quality controls and things like that. But when it does come to unbranded chargers, so just generic USB chargers, there are quite a few good brands out there, but there's also quite a few brands that you wouldn't have heard of. And it is very tricky to know which ones are good, which ones are bad. So what I would say is stick to some brands that you've heard of. So this one is Anchor. They're uh, quite a big brand 
that sell on Amazon. They've got a whole range of chargers and cables and all sorts of things. Um, another brand is Belkin. Um, yeah, try and stick to those mainstream brands because if you're buying brands on on various websites that you haven't heard of, then there's the possibility that they could be dangerous. They might not be manufactured to um, European or UK safety standards. So that that's what I would say. Just stick to a brand that you may have heard of. You may end up paying more money, um, but in the long run, it will be safer. When it comes to pat testing these types of things, um, I always just do visual checks. There is no kind of test that you can do to these by plugging them into your pat testing machine. And, and e even if they were a substandard product and potentially a dangerous product, even if you plugged it into your pat test machine and run a test through it, it might come back as a pass. Um, that's why with these sort of chargers, the visual check is the most important check that you can do. Checking they're branded, checking that they've got the relative uh, and genuine labels on them, uh, the CE marks, the safety standards, etc. That's what I would stick to. Um, if you've got any comments or anything like that, then please uh, leave them in, in the box below. I can do a video for you. Uh, if there any ideas, any comments you want, kind of any reactions to these videos. And don't forget to subscribe as well, because it really helps me and you get to see all the latest videos that come out from me. Thanks very much.